Hey guys, what's going on? It's Colin here again, back with another fan video. This is a 1990s Duracraft uh, pedestal fan. Forget exactly what the model is, but if I remember it correctly, the tag is not there. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought the tag was up underneath here, but apparently it's not. So I don't really know what model this is, but uh, it's a Duracraft. <laughs> That's all I know. This is a video request from 1998 Monroe NY Colonial who uh, saw the, I believe I have a video on this already, um, but I don't remember whether I really showed it off running all that much, but on the last update video, he asked to see an update video on this. So I said, sure, I'll do that. Um, it's been over here at my grandparents' house, and it, as a result, it hasn't been used that that much, but occasionally when I get over here, um, I'll use it in front of that window to help vent the place out, because my grandparents, unfortunately, as much as they want to come back here, um, they snowboard to Florida in the winter, and then when they were down there, COVID hit, and it just hasn't worked out with them getting back up here in terms of being safe and all that. So uh, they're still down there. The house has been kind of vacant, so I've been uh, airing and out occasionally with this. And it's been running good since. I haven't done any real servicing to it, but it's been a good runner when I do run it. But um, yeah, it's a 16-inch pedestal fan, probably late 90s. And it's a bit of a childhood fan for me because my other grandma was a teacher, and uh, she retired when I was younger and suddenly three pedestal fans made their way to her house that were her fans in the classroom and one of them was the Honeywell version of this same fan um, <clears throat> eventually that turned into a bit of a Franken fan if I remember correctly and was eventually parted out but um, yeah this is these are actually pretty darn good little fans um, not the strongest in terms of base design though it's a plastic piece in the middle there and on her fan it cracked and the thing wouldn't stay in so what we came up with was we actually put a hose clamp around here and held it together and that held for a number of years um, same with this slide here the plastic tends to crack like it, what's happened on this one but it is slightly height adjustable if I remember correctly there you go it goes from really short it's probably like three or four feet yeah you know, probably four feet high and it raises up about another couple inches six inches 10 inches, somewhere in there. It's a little stiff. I usually just keep it at the highest setting because even at the highest setting, it's not that tall. Maybe like five feet tall. But uh, like I said, it's a good runner. Haven't done much to it other than run it a little bit. Um, these plastic clips, I do not remember on her fan though. And I do not like these. <laughs> they don't work that well. But uh, overall, it's a, it's a pretty good fan. It's got a lot of sun damage, unfortunately. But hey, for free, you can't really complain that much. So, uh, it's got the stupid safety knob too, which on this fan doesn't work that well. I end up just turning it with the uh, my fingernail on that little nub, but I do remember that from my grandma's Honeywell. But anyways, go ahead and do a little video of it running here. So uh, let's fire it up on high and we'll see if it has a startup sound, because I honestly don't remember. That would be a no. <laughs> <clears throat> Not much of a startup sound, but it does move quite a bit of air. As you can hear. Uh, there's a good pressure behind the air too. These blades must have a pretty decent pitch to them, which it looks like they do. Um, but yeah, there's definitely good pressure behind the air, and it's a good amount of air movement. But even on high speed here, it's pretty darn quiet. Go ahead and put it on oscillation. Or as Jordan likes to say, engage the oscillations, which is definitely a more fun way of saying it. Go ahead and tilt it down here a little bit. Go down to medium here. If I can use this stupid knob. It's a pretty decent difference between the speeds. Not tremendous, but it's good enough. Go down to low here. Got a slight noise to it, which might be oscillator related. Probably needs some grease. Either that or thrust washers, actually. Yeah, that's a thrust washer noise. Sorry guys, my camera died there. Wasn't apparent, apparently wasn't paying attention to the battery level. But we were just about to do the spin down here, so... Go ahead and turn it off. It's a pretty darn good little fan, if you ask me. Um, Considering the fact that the bearings and the thrust washers are making some noise, or the lack of thrust washers, I should say, uh, it's got a pretty decent spin down, but it could probably use another service at some point. But uh, yeah, considering that it's from the late 90s, it moves a pretty darn good amount of air. 
I'd say the 90s was the end of good fans, pretty much, if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> the Liquid 223 is the last good box fan, in my opinion. These and the SMCs and the Lasco Table uh, Galaxy, Lasco Galaxy fans were pretty decent still at the end of the 90s. But after that, I mean, most fans were got pretty crappy. Um, so yeah, I'd say this is probably at the end of the era of good fans. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm rambling on here. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit the little like and subscribe buttons. I'd appreciate that. By all means, leave a comment if you have one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.